Hey guys, it's Jason. Welcome back to Martial Arts Theater 3000, and we're returning today to the Venom's Countdown. We got four more left, and I just wanted to thank everyone for all your support along the way. And if you like this content and could hit that like button and subscribe, it definitely is going to help the channel. And as always, if this is the first video you've seen in the Venom's Countdown, I do recommend going back and starting at number 21 because I like to reference the prior reviews along the way. At number four, we have the Five Venoms, more commonly known as Five Deadly Venoms. Now the words classic and legendary get thrown around a lot in this genre and in most movie genres, but I have to say this movie is a bona fide classic. I mean, nowadays, if you ask in a forum, what's your favorite Kung Fu movie? I think Five Deadly Venoms is mentioned hands down the most. You'll see Enter the Dragon, you'll hear some of the usual suspects, but over the years, it's just kind of snowballed and snowballed. And it seems that most people pick Five Deadly Venoms as their favorite. And for that reason, at the top here, I wanted to say I know a lot of people are going to be upset this isn't at number one or even at number two, but I'll explain why I put it at number four. And also keep in mind, this is like splitting hairs at this point. The top five are so close in my mind that it could switch on various days, but it needs to be said, Five Deadly Venoms is without a doubt a game changer. Coming out of the T. Lung and David Chang period for Chang Che, then going through the Shaolin cycle, where the Venoms slowly start appearing in cameos and bit parts. This is like the bridge film, I'd say, that takes you to the final period of Chang Che at Shaw Brothers, which is mostly Venom's movies. And what's interesting about this movie is it is very, very different than the other Venom's films. What stands out is that this has more of a thriller, a horror, and a drama slash mystery feel to it, and that's its strong points. It doesn't have the standard choreography from Liu Fang, Chang Shang, and Guac Choi that you'll see later on in the majority of the Venoms films, and you can notice that in this movie. That's why when it comes to the drama side of things and being a thriller and having that horror aspect, this is definitely one of the best ones for the Venoms. But for a Kung Fu movie, I think it's not quite up at the top. And the thing that stands out while watching this is the first 40 minutes of the movie, there's not even a fight scene. I mean, there's a little bit of displays of their Kung Fu. And there's the scene where Wei Pai and Lu Fang kill the man that they believe has the treasure. There's little snippets here and there. But for the most part, the first fight scene doesn't come in till around the 40 minute mark, which is pretty long for a Venoms film. And while this isn't as Kung Fu heavy of a film and the Kung Fu scenes, I do feel are a bit short. But there are three main fights that are just all-time classics, and they're simply amazing. I love that Chang Shang is one of the main roles here. And Guac Choi, he, this has to be one of his best roles, without a doubt. He is just amazing in this. I think this probably is his best acting. He just steals the show a bit, and it just shows why he became the leading role in a lot of the Venom's films. In one way, I feel like this movie, even if it didn't have fight scenes, would be up in this top five. That's how good it is on its own when it comes to the mystery of it all and the acting. It's just top shelf. And that's why for the plot and acting on this one, I definitely got to give it a 10 out of 10. There is just such great performances. Chang Sheng is great in one of the lead roles. As I said earlier, Guac Choi is just unbelievable. His acting chops, it's definitely one of his peak performances. And Lo Mang and Sun Chen and all the different Venoms, it just puts them on the map. And you could see why this was a hit. And Chang Che chose to keep going and make dozens of films starring the Venoms. When it comes to the action and fighting in this one, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Like I said, there's not too many fights in this movie. It takes 40 minutes to get to the first real fight. But you can't take away how great it is that each Venom has their own specific style. And this opening to this movie is the most iconic in probably all of martial arts cinema. This is a little different when it comes to the acrobatic style you're going to be used to from all the Venoms movies. It's more of, a, I wouldn't call it straightforward, but it's less of the somersaults and flips. But when it gets to the finale, you have Guac Choi and Chang Cheng climbing up the walls. It's all over the place. And it's great Sun Chen at the last minute finally gets in on the action at the end as well. For ways to watch on this one, we have the Dragon Dynasty DVD that came out, I don't know, around 
maybe 10 to 12 years ago. And there's also from Dragon Dynasty, it's only upscaled, but a Blu-ray standalone from them. I never actually saw that. I only had the DVD, which is pretty decent. But as usual, Shawscope Volume 1 from Arrow is going to be the best place, I'd say, to watch this. The 2K scan is just stunning how good it looks. You have the English dub, which couldn't be more classic of an English dub. And it actually sounds a lot better. Arrow really cleaned it up a lot. And there's some, like, distortion on it towards the end. And you actually hear that in the older Dragon Dynasty version. But the Dragon Dynasty dub is so quiet that I think you just got to go with the Arrow Blu-ray box set to get the best version currently of Five Deadly Venoms. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a 4K standalone around the bend at some point here, too. And when it comes to ways to watch this on streaming, there's a lot of options. I see the Arrow app here. It's $3.99 on Apple TV. It's on Prime, and it's on YouTube as well to buy or rent. So there's definitely a lot of ways to watch this when it comes to the streaming side of things. So at number four, that was Five Deadly Venoms. And up next, we're cracking into the top three here. Thanks, guys, as always, for all the support, and I'll catch you in the next one.